gate lady's working hard. Come on. This is like the real life. Snap your fingers. Map update. I've not done this in a while, so say where you're from on the map and I'll put you on. Not from UK and Ireland because it's full. I need to get a separate map. Otherwise, let me know down below. Just taking this fence down. Most of the posts come out, no bother, but it's famous. Not a by hand job. As you pull up with a forklift, the chain goes tight, squeezes in and grips onto the post, and then it should just come flying out. That's the theory, anyway. Come on, out you come. Uh, it's just slipping a wee bit. Put it down a bit. There you go, there it comes. The odd wee snap stump as well. You don't need much to grip onto. Just a wee stump. There you go. Focus. Cabs all looking well. Anguses are well on. Some decent sized cabs. There's some cows next to them for perspective. Getting on. So these are Percy's lot. That's a Percy. That's a Percy. There we go, fence down. I've got the easy job in the forklift. And then, oh, I just dropped some posts. Got the easy job and make a meal of it. Gate lady is away to inspect. Does it pass the test? Yeah. The test would be when I push it against a wall accidentally. Right, I've stolen Dad's pride and joy. We've got a bit of an island here, so I can just drive off quite handy. Don't need to put the ramps out. Ideal. As long as that's not going to drop down too far on this side, I think I should be okay. Yeah, we're all good. The more that's along here, it's out of action. And my own grass is like a silence field, and that old board would really struggle because I've left it that long. That worked fairly well. Got my grass cut. Happy days. Cut grass for a faff. It's a dad's job. I must say, there you go, Kubota G231. Brilliant machine, brilliant. There's nothing we've thrown at that machine or tried to cut with that machine that it's not just sailed through. Very good machine. One thing I wish the model up from this size comes with a metal mesh rather than a fabric. Metal will last longer. That's um, Dad had a scrap with a strainer post, so I wish that was metal because these things get pretty tired. Not, yeah, don't go tired that quickly, but it will go tired. But it's driven by a shaft and not belts, so that helps a lot because belts wear out, belts burn out. Where's your shaft? You get a lot of power through a shaft. Currently, just up on top of the farm shop, filling about with aircon units because we're having issues with a chiller unit in the shop. That's that's the roof of all the new building. So that section there, this section here, and up there. So that's the new bit. They're all up here because um, it's cool and it's outside, uh, and you get more. They're more efficient outside aircon units than they are inside. If you're if you're coming out of school or you're at uni and you're deliberate and want to get into, get into fixing aircon units because the call out fee is flipping expensive, and they're out every other day. Aircon unit in here. So this is one of them. We think. It's either this one or that one that's playing up But I don't know enough about air conditioning to figure out what's wrong So you've got heat transfer unit here, fan, compressor That will be that will hold the refrigerant um, So the fluid that's used in the heat exchanger Then it's not working Or that one's not working Don't know You should probably go and do a course on diagnosing issues with this stuff Because it's, it's such a regular occurrence there's one, two, three, four, five. There's two more over there on the roof. There is there's a new chiller going in, so it'll take one. There's a few other chillers dotted about, so there's always an issue. Come on then, dog. Right, it's another day. I've been out spraying, but I wasn't really filming. My tank's had a breakdown with a plow. Don't know how bad a breakdown, but he said bring the forklift and a chain. So it doesn't sound good. So we're about to see what's, what's, what's happened. So there's a the forklift. I've just been spraying all day. And here's a chain. Perfect. This is where Kev's sewing just now. All over there beyond the trees are sewing. He's coming up to here. It dunks over there. Sitting waiting on me. Not actually as bad as I thought. 
these bars have given way. This one's actually sheared down there. Anyway, we've got it yoked up and we'll limp it back. Wish us luck. Going smoothly so far, we're limping back. We've got quite a way to go around this end rig, but we'll get there. Typical, it's a Saturday when it breaks down. Sunday, obviously, still closed. Monday is the Queen's funeral, so we're struggling for parts. I guess things don't break when you're not using them. Because the two supports up there are uh, knackered, we'll call them knackered, bent, whatever. This, the plow wants to swing around that way because there's nothing stopping it. So to save anything else, possibly breaking and bending, just limping it back to the yard like this. Not gonna be able to get parts for it till probably Tuesday at the best, and it's Saturday today, so Dunk's gonna go and put the other plow on just to finish up. There's Kev, getting on well. Made it back, dumped this chain. So that's the issue. There's a bit of slop in the headstock, bit of slop in the bearing there, bearing there. There's a bit of slop in the whole thing. When you're lifting and moving with the plow at this end, there's a bit of a bounce and a bit of slop in it. And what that does, it's putting quite a bit of strain on it. And over time, that's just caused this, these two to begin to fail. And then boom, today they've failed fully. Dad's currently trying to source a couple of these so we can replace them and get it moving again. Could flatten off that one because it's fine, but this one, it's actually sheared. Um, so we'd need to weld a bit on and um, hopefully just find some new bits, put them in, be good to go again. But that's all that's actually broken and bent, so it actually wasn't that bad. Plow's getting abandoned for a few days till we can actually get parts. Dunks can grab the other plow. I'm going to carry on spraying. Gabe's going to carry on sewing. See you tomorrow, unless something else dramatic happens. Enjoying that. <laughs> Percy's got himself stuck again. Uh, I really need to chop a bar out, but reading him a bit of Tom Pemberton's book. I better get him out. He's fed up. I've got more experience with dealing with social media and don't let it get to me in a tiz. Oh, but I read that wrong. Oh, what a night.